Hello everyone, um, it's been a while since I've done a Stuff I Bought Recently uh, video just because I've, uh, I've I've not really bought very much. Um, it's like, um, as you probably saw at the beginning of the month, I bought um, es Espagaluda 2 um, on the Xbox and it kind of wiped me out. Um, but I've kind of realised over the last few weeks that I'm not as bad off for the money as I, as I thought I was this month and um, I've, I've made a few purchases recently and for that I kindly had some uh, some games sent through to me as well. Um, so without further ado let's uh, crack on with um, with what I've got here to show you. Now um, a subscriber and a friend who I've um, yeah known for, for quite a while on, on here on, on YouTube and through Retro Gamer um, magazine forum uh, is a chap called uh, Spiffier Rabbit or uh, Aidan Paul um, as he's, uh, he's uh, as he's also known as um, and he's he's on Twitter and I'm, I'm on Twitter as well and we have conversations now and again and uh, we have uh, top five quizzes and stuff like that going on between us um, but he does basically on a, on a Friday Sega does free stuff Friday um, and I've just started uh, doing the competitions on there to, to get free stuff um, but Spiffy Rabbit last week won um, a game on there for for the PSP um, and he he hasn't actually got a PSP so he, he kindly asked me if I'd like um, if I'd like the PSP game so um, I said yeah <laughs> um, I'm going to get him a few beers at Retro Reunited for, as, as a thank you. Um, more about Retro Reun Reunited later. Um, but yeah, here's, here's the game that he, uh, he sent me through anyway. Uh, Football Manager yeah, 2010. Um, this one's made by the guys who used to be a championship manager years ago. Um, and I've had a quick go on it and um, it's a really really nice handheld portable management game to be honest I used to really really like Champ Manager um, kind of like around um, the late 90s to be honest me and, my mate, me and my mate used to have weekends just playing it for just constantly for hours and um, it has to be said the PSP incarnation is really really nice and the control system usually for a, for a console management game rakes works really really well so um, so thanks again um, Spiffier <laughs> um, uh, he actually sent me through a bonus as well uh, he sent me through some um, limited edition Tekken 6 uh, character cards <laughs> there we go um, I won't, so I won't tell you where he works, but he works in the games industry, and um, he picked those. Yeah, he, he sent those through to me as an extra bonus. So, so cheers, mate. Um, really, really nice. Um, I'm, I am a fan of the Tekken series. Um, I do intend getting that game at some point. Um, but thank you very much, mate. Now, um, another an, another uh, item I've kindly had sent through to me by. Uh, someone I know on here as well, um, chap called uh, Stuart.c, um, check his channel out, he, he does an amazing amount of videos, um, him <laughs> him and Joanne uh, basically do, yeah, they do some, they do some fantastic videos and there's a, there's a real sense of, of, of humour in some of the videos as well, um, and uh, he saw one of my other pickup videos where I, um, basically showed an Amiga game that um, I, I basically decided to collect Psygnosis um, Amiga games for the for the cover work and said uh, he basically said oh I've got a, I've got a poster from one of the games there you can you can have it if you want um, didn't want any money for it um, and then he sent me it through so um, without further ado there we go blood money <laughs> how cool is that so um, yeah, thanks for that, mate. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna flatten that out and I'm gonna frame it up. Um, that strangely enough is one of the more expensive big box Amiga games to get, and it's it, it, that's really really appreciated, mate. Um, I will hold off uh, get getting the Amiga game for for at least a few months now. <laughs> thanks, mate. <laughs> 
So, um, yeah, the next game I'm going to show you was, is, is a game that I fancied for a while. Um, it uses the uh, Call of Duty 4 engine, um, and it, it looks quite similar to, to, uh, to Call of Duty. It's, uh, there we go, 007 The Quantum of Solace. It got very, very average reviews on, yeah, that's, sorry, 360 version as you can see, uh, 7 quid. Um, it got very, very average reviews, um, and it's supposed to be one of the, sh <laughs> the shortest first person shooters you can you can ever play. But, um, I love the retooled Bond, and cause it, obviously, because cause, cause it's a COD 4 engine, I kind of quite fancied uh, giving it a go. Um, and I've, I've started playing it. Um, the storyline's really kind of really cool. It interweaves in the film, and you see bits, you know, sequences from the film, and bits of bits of added extras that happen outside the timeline of the film. Um, but but it almost like um, this is what happened in between the two scenes in the film. Um, and the control system on it's a little bit woolly. There's something not quite right about it. Um, but saying that, um, there are other aspects of it that I like for, for you know, that introduce new things to the first person genre. The cover system's really, really nice. Um, and um, there's hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences in it as well. Because basically if you run up to an enemy, you can do um, moves on them. Um, which is it, slightly different to uh, yeah to, to to a lot of first-person shooter games, so it tries some new stuff there. So um, yeah, for seven quid, um, it, it, it's all right. It's all right. Right, and the next game I'm going to show you um, arrived today. It's a game I've been after for a couple of years, um, and I've never come across fallen on a copy when I've been looking for it that I've, that I've actually wanted and it's been kind of cheap enough really um, and it's there we go Pocket Fighter on the uh, Japanese uh, PlayStation 1 um, I love <laughs> I really really do love the uh, the artwork on this I just think it's so it, it's really really cute and it's just like it's got it's almost like in a, in a kiddies kind of um, Crayon style. Um, it's it, it's just cool. It's really really cool artwork. Um, I was talking to uh, to Mendez on here um, about uh, artwork um, being being an important part of a package, and I mean it really is. It really is. We we we've, we've both got an appreciation of uh, of the of the design in this, and uh, he's he's actually an, an illustrator, so he's a uh, you know, I mean, he's got um, that, he's, he's definitely got um, a, a very appreciative eye because it's uh, it's his day job, as it were. <laughs> um, so yeah, the the manual is really really nice, as as, as per usual. Um, we've got all the super deformed characters here. I th I've I've not played Pocket Fighter before, and I know it's a, a simplified, cut down version of. Um, yeah, of, of Street Fighter, but I'm looking forward to playing it, and as, as I say, I just always fancied having this game, just so it, it, it'll look nice on the shelf, <laughs> to be blunt, even if the game's crap, um, which I don't think it is. No.